history may or may not be celebrated in the records of the world. They each accomplished great things, but man's perspective of greatness differs from God's. The annals of heaven contain people you've never heard about. They contain the lives, the world, didn't bother writing down. At times, you do accomplish notable deeds by faith, deeds the world does notice. By faith, our forefathers conquered kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, and escaped the edge of the sword 
Out of weakness, they were made strong. They became valiant in battle and turned foreign armies to flight and received their dead raised to life again. But there were others. Others who lived a different story. By faith, they were tortured. They were mocked and scourged. They were chained. They were imprisoned. They were stoned. They were sold in two. They were tempted. They were slain by the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, and ill-treated. They hid in deserts and mountains, dens and caves in the earth. These heroes not only lived by faith, they died by it. And while the world overlooks their sacrifice as something unnecessary and extreme or wasted, Scripture comes to a different conclusion. Scripture declares they are those of whom the world was not worthy. They were so valuable to God that the world was no longer worthy of them. They are the heroes heaven remembers. And God is looking for those who will continue their legacy. Right now, the martyrs in heaven cry out, How long? How long until you avenge? our blood on the earth. How long until justice prevails? And God responds, I'm still waiting on others to give their lives to. I'm waiting for those who will live and die by faith as you did. I am waiting on those who will give everything. We put these heroes out of sight and out of mind as something distant and obscure and irrelevant to us. But they are our example, our blueprint for manifesting heaven on the earth. So here it is. Jesus led the way. And then he told his disciples, pick up your cross and follow. Since then, apostles and prophets, parents, even children, have heard the call and laid down their lives. And now, they are looking at you. This great cloud of witnesses wonders, what will happen next? Who will hear the call? Who will finish our story? Friend. Let it be you. What will you do with the mantle they have left us? What will you do with the scarlet thread that has run throughout church history? Their chapter is over, but the book is not yet finished. Will you answer the call? Whether by life or by death, will you?